Guys, hello and welcome to my very new and very first channel. It's a new project I'm starting, but I'm very excited to come and show you all the clips, all the videos that I've been getting from all the trips that I've been doing. So I want to make this channel showing you the videos that I do as close to reality as they can be. I want to make them very raw, very unedited, so you as well can come watch them and feel what it's like to be in these places, to go and meet the people there, to see the culture, to eat their food, listen to their music, to everything you would like to do on a trip. I'd like to show it as close to reality as possible. So if you're into that, if you're someone who's into culture in, from different countries, if you're someone who's into travel, if you're someone who's looking for inspiration on their next trip, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because there's going to be many more videos like this coming soon. So let's begin with the first one. This is a trip I made with my friends to Latvia, to Riga. And, well, the neighboring cities as well. But the first one we've done, done in April, spring. And let's see what it's like to see Latvia in such a time of the year. When you think of Latvia, what do you think? I think most people think of an old Soviet communist republic. They think of cold people. Or they think of a city that's too small and most people overlook on their travels in Europe. And I think there's many more to it. So let's get down to it. Let me show you what a travel there is like. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, make sure you leave it a like or share it with your friends. Go on then. We are now in the middle of a <laughs> Latvian snowstorm in the center of Riga. We're doing a little expedition towards the old town, which is not to be confused with the center. Now, in the olden days, the old town was the center, and they divided the two parts with the moats and the canal and the parks. Wow! We will get to show you in a little bit. But now they're different. And why they moved the center from the inside to the outside? Well, that's the question you can ask about any other person. But now. We have to cruise the snowstorm to get to the place. Now there you can see oh. the cathedral, which oh, is on the end. I say so this is the arts. Um, the art gallery, and then down there is the is the Orthodox um, cathedral. Look, there's a first traffic jam we see. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This a, is a Latvian traffic jam. I've never seen one of those in my life. <laughs> I hadn't seen more than 20 so cars in a row now, but... At least 100 meters. Yeah, that is as far as we can it's see. Half of Riga there. <laughs> <laughs> Just in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have this banister? <laughs> This is the legendary canal that they built <laughs> in the ancient times uh, to protect the city from being invaded. They got invaded by the Russians and the Germans and the Polish, I believe, as well, the Swedish. So they built the moat to protect the old town. And then they had a beer infestation, and you can still see the beaver house, but it's not here. It's not that one, it's not over there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Shit. Okay, well they have a beaver house and there's only two beavers remaining from the play that destroyed the city of Latvia. They took Sorry, all of the other of Riga. <laughs> they took they took all of the other beavers in the countryside. They didn't slaughter them, they just moved them. So that's good. No beavers. So they can see no. the fences on the on the trees, so the beavers don't eat the trees. Um, and that's the opera house which had its own power station, electricity, coal powered. Um, now it's just a, an office, but no, it's, they... Oh, it's an extension to the... extension the, of the... Um, it's like a town hall. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. No, it's not an office. office. Well, it's, it's not an office. It's a town office. I said, I wish my office block had a... Like, uh, a chimney, a coal a power station. A coal power Well, station. this has... They kept the chimney to remind the people of Riga what it used to be. A power station. Golf gets. Are we back in the cinema again? Is this cinema? This is the Riga Tower. Christ, I've never seen a cinema so frequently but as we've seen it here. Riga's really not... How, how, how does that make you feel? Um, 
I love the cinema and I feel like I've just I'm really able to appreciate the size of Riga a lot more now because um, it is very very small but admittedly we haven't gone into the old town bit yet so maybe that's why right so where's we that just keep seeing the, the cinema the old town's down here we're going to go in it and um, see the three brothers um what three brothers not people <laughs> um, and go find a, a Hamburg um Oh yes. What's it called? Hammer. Uh, Code of Arts. Code of Arts, yes. On a building of which I don't know what building, but we will find it. Something oh, with I know, black. I know which one. Black, I know which one. Yeah, yeah. Black building. I'll show you in a second what it is. Lovely. What's the name of the building? The House of the Black Heads. Uh, black Heads. This is a weird name, but yes. But more excitingly, there is a walk to walk, which is um, a very, very famous um, Latvian place in, restaurant. Very, very, very famous Latvian restaurant. Um, really, really banging noodles, I will say. So, <laughs> if you ever come, I'd recommend going. It's really nice. Um, yeah, highlight the trip so far, I think. Right. Oh, that's so <laughs> ah, that's So now we are in the beautiful old town of Riga, and I've, uh, we were looking for dinner, and we came across a bargain. 50 shots with 25 euros. Let's hope it's not cash only. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's go see and see and see if they will honour their their promise. Yeah. So as you can see, they did not lie. They did give us 50 shots in one tray. The only thing I will have to say is that it was half vodka, half juice. But I think I mean it's 50 is more than enough. What we decided to do with it is to just go to the bar, meet, well, see someone. Who looks fun? Who looks yeah, like a, like a good night out, and offer them to drink the shots with us, befriend them, and make sure they show us the city. And we met a group of students from Germany. We didn't know they were German, but uh, they were there, and they drank the shots with us. And then they took us to a club. That was great because otherwise we would have no idea where to go or yeah, where to find a good party. So thank you very much for that, Chiara. What do we think about the nightlife in Latvia? It's something it's very famous for. It's something I definitely read when I was planning the trip and I don't think it disappoints it. It was very fun, the people were lovely, the music was a mixture of techno and pop. So it was definitely stuff you would know and the drinks were super strong. As you can see, that, that is only vodka and then they added mixer. This is probably the nicest patisserie I've been to in my life. The croissants were incredible and it's near the center so it's perfectly located and they have great drinks as well. Into this little cafe and there is and croissants with caviar and crabs with salad. Like what the heck? Is that not shrimp? No. Oh yeah, yeah shrimp. I'm not very sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah shrimp. Smart. Too sure, bad I don't eat fish. But they also have croissants of every kind. They have butter. I think that's hazelnut, chocolate, cheese, ham and cheese, and I don't really know what the rest is, but huh? look how nice this is. It's very, very nice. I'm very excited. What are you having? I'm going to get a latte and like a carrot. Thank you. We're going to try the traditional Latvian cuisine of <laughs> <laughs> croissants with caviar and shrimp. Right. Let's see what he thinks of it. Very traditional. They must have had this like three years ago already. <laughs> I'm just gonna destroy it, but I think you just eat it with your hands. Should I? Mm. <laughs> I'll go everywhere. LSS now. <laughs> it's gonna be a very slow blog. <laughs> Would you recommend yep. to all our subscribers? Yes. Okay. Our three subscribers, not just us. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, what are we seeing here? <laughs> the three brothers, which were not built together, the only thing in common is that they beside each other. Why are they so special? Because they're old, I guess. One is Crockett, the other one is from 1646. Okay. Why are you filming it that way? Why aren't you filming it the other way? 
Hello. So here we are outside the Three Brothers. So this one on the right is the oldest, um, built in the late 15th century, and it has some like kind of Dutch influence, uh, Dutch and Gothic influences. It's also uh, slightly mm. crooked, um, which I think shows its age. Um, it is one of the oldest buildings in uh, Riga. Then you have the middle one, which is a pale yellow, which was built um, in the 17th century, um, and it. Um, is also has a uh, Dutch influence because of the strong trading relationship at the time with the Netherlands. Uh, it's very pretty. Um, and then the youngest brother came shortly after um, the middle one um, and is green and it houses the, uh, what, the Museum of Architecture, did I say? Music. No, Architecture. I did say Museum ah, okay, Architecture. I said architecture. Uh, the Museum of Architecture. Um, and apparently the legend is that they were all built by um, three men in one family. Um, so obviously they couldn't have been brothers due to the time difference, but it could be like grandfather, great-grandfather, etc. Um, whether that's true or not is another question, but they are certainly very pretty um, and wonky. Pretty nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the Maldives. <laughs> Liam, what do you think of this place? Oh wait, it's not sideways. <laughs> Leah, what do you think of this place? Looks like Star Wars and also this uh, Gandhi in Spain. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I mean, not as crazy as Gandhi. But so that. you know you will become now experts of Mr. Andy. We have finally made it to our train to Riga. No, no way. Where are we going? You <laughs> Because we heard from our taxi driver yesterday that there is the Miami on the east. He said it's literally like being in Miami. He said it's known for the amber that washes up on the sea, uh, the beautiful beaches and the, the ice cream and having drinks at the beach. So you know, we just decided to escape the cold European winter and just go, just go further north. Wait, I don't know. And nothing is actually going south in Riga. Uh, it's mostly uh, west. Uh, right. Mostly west. A little bit south. The main thing is we can drink on the street while it's yeah. still in <laughs> So That's the most important It's been sold to us as a beach paradise. <laughs> but I think we're not the only ones who know because the train is getting full. It's <laughs> looking. And it's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> 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 we can't carry on. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just sitting here with my beach buddies. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you get up and introduce yourself to the wagon? I'm like a To the wagon. Um, I would probably say I'm like, yeah, I'm doubtful we're gonna get. Them. I mean, we hope we, we hope we are. We try to read a map. No, we try to read a, a, a timetable. Um, we'll see if we get there or not. Um, if not, we're gonna we're gonna be a bit screwed if we end up in the middle of Latvia. So we had Oh, I thought we were gonna go that way. That's confusing. <laughs> This is the world's biggest. Why is it so tall? Like, do they have giants? I mean, to be fair, they're giants here though, aren't they? <laughs> like, oh, no, no, not all of them. But like, in the club yesterday, they were like... Can you see that? We are, we are now in the Flying Frog Cafe, where Liam is stopping the frog from ever flying again <laughs> by frying it. Have you put lemon on it? Um, if you look closely, you may still see some shape of a frog. Some shape is very clearly. <laughs> but Liam is going to tell us what that tastes like. Probably like chicken. <laughs> Every, everyone says all the meat tastes like chicken. He's not making a face, which is a, a good sign so far. What is it? Is it? Isn't it frog legs with mushrooms and oyster? I think that's what the menu is. Okay. It's good, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and Ella is having bread. <laughs> bread with cheese. <laughs> it's very good then. All right, yeah, fair enough. And we're having some hot balsam to drink, which is like black balsam with black currant juice. It's like this, yeah, of course. Um, it's like warm ribena. 
It's lovely. Oh, fair enough. Because it's very cold outside. So. And a very nice beer. What is the name? I don't know, but it's the only one they had, so... <laughs> Salud. <laughs> We are now in the house of cats of Riga, where a German merchant once lived, and he built two cats on the top of his house. He was a wealthy German merchant, and he was not allowed into the Latvian society of merchants. So he built his house, and he built the cats facing away from the building of the merchants. Now then, after a while, he sued oh, wow. the, 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 the society, and they, he was allowed in. And then he turned the cats to face just the corners. But, but at some point, they would all face their back towards the building of that sizey. Where's that building? That building, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. Was it the black, was it the black thing? The black that is he, uh, that is house, head? And where's that from here? Over there, that way. That is possible, but I'm not very sure. Because that was, that was the area for unmarried merchants, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so clever on our history. <laughs> we, just came, we just came to this restaurant where we thought we, they would have cheesecake. You thought? This is, this is quite similar to cheesecake. It does look a lot like cheesecake. Maybe that's what we've been talking about for years. Yeah, maybe. That, maybe that's what I, we found. So this is bird's milk, uh, cheesecake and honey cake. Thing is no, exactly. I was just thinking that. But it is called, it is called it is the bird's milk. You've never milked a bird? <laughs> uh, have you? I'm very concerned if you have. <laughs> In what context have you milked a bird? <laughs> because as far as I remember, the chicks of birds, they don't like breast, get breastfed. Mm. So if you milk a bird, I don't really know, I don't know what you milk. <laughs> the next we went to the sky bar and made a very <laughs> nice friend. Why you don't uh, drink big uh, uh, about them? We I had we had some today, uh, yeah. And lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch. Hot bath like yeah. yeah. Ha! <laughs> Your girlfriend is so wonderful. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think so too. Do you no, have a girlfriend? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Anna. Mm. In Germany, in Germany, this is not how. You, you do like you do like the other sizes. <laughs> yes, that's why she's my girlfriend. Dance with her. So great. Why not? No. Look, why not? Why don't you guys dance? No, thank you. Immediately <laughs> single. Immediately. No, I'm not a gay. <laughs> Sorry. In our country, not a gay. <laughs> Sorry. I've just been told I'm not very like pretty. It. I like it. So, now we're walking towards the train station, which is conveniently located next to the markets. So, what country are we in? We're still in Riga. Well, in Latvia. In Latvia. Country. Have we country spoken to them Latvia, since? City Riga. Have we spoken to them since we since we left Lithuania? Um, okay. So what happened was that we did an exercise of extremely poor planning, and yeah. we were in Vilnius. We decided to go to the beach at Kaipeda. Um, and since we had struggled to book anything online, we booked it. We decided to book it at, at, at the station, buy the tickets there. But um, 
when we got there it was all sold out so you couldn't move anywhere else in Lithuania we had seen quite a bit of Vilnius um, we just decided to do something else so we went to Jelgava for another day um, and another day we are spending it in Riga again which to be fair I'm very grateful for because it's beautiful sunny Latvia and Riga look at this part look how beautiful it is look how empty it is partly of course because it is Easter Sunday but it's still so beautiful it's very flat stay in Riga and we decided to spend it just by admiring the beauty of Riga's architecture. Um, I think this is a very good shout. It's better than the occupation museum because we already yeah. went to an occupation museum and we haven't seen Riga with many people inside because we came during the week and we also did things more in the evenings than during the day so I think it's very nice. Yeah and I don't think Riga is unlike many cities because it's so beautiful but it's not packed with tourists i mean yes you see some people on the street it's nice because it feels alive but it's not like paris or milan or london where you just be walking from tourist trap to tourist trap like there's not that many cities where you would find buildings like this and just not be flooded with tourists and it's it's great that's a great thing to find here i think uh so it's yeah it's if you come to Riga, just make sure you spend, if not one day, at least a good portion of one day, just walking through the old town and seeing all the buildings. We are now in a Latvian McDonald's. And I'm only coming here because some of the YouTubers said that they had a Caesar salad burger that was the best burger they ever had at McDonald's. In... Okay, well, it looks like they don't have it anymore, <laughs> but let's see what they have unique in Latvia. Um, it seems to be pretty much the same. <laughs> uh, so many countries you go to and they have like a unique thing, you know, like... Not that I can see on that. Yeah, here I don't see the Lux beef burger, but I mean, I've never seen that before, but it doesn't seem to Toast? be unique. Spicy cheese bites. Wedges, that's, that's Poland on those. All right, we'll order something and see what it's like. Let's yeah. test the... Latvian McDonald's. Macaroons. Okay, Latvian McDonald's didn't have anything, but we came to see the Latvian dancers. Did you see it? Yeah, <laughs> but I only got like one second of it. <laughs> anyway, he's a Latvian street musician, so let's see what it's like. Maybe this guy's gonna whip out his guitar as well and have a duel or something. Can we give them a coin? So this is it. Thank you for making it to the end and I hope you enjoyed our trip to Latvia as much as we do. And I hope you know more about what this little country in the Baltics is like. And if you want to see about our trip to Lithuania, make sure you subscribe. Or if you want to see our following videos from other trips, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much.